I have got to uh, head to work now. I have one client. Ooh, it's bright out here, so bright. Um, I have one client and uh, then heading home to finish editing this video to hopefully get up for you guys today. Um, oh, it's hot. So hot. That's like at the dentist a couple weeks ago. Uh, they do it a little bit differently. They make y'all make us call when we pull up and they come out and take our temperature. Oh yeah. And they took my temperature and it read like 103 because it was a, such a hot day. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a few of those even coming inside. Yeah. I'm like, was... oh. Yeah. It is so hot outside. I'm using Pravana Pure Light Balayage Lightener today with Olaplex as my paint for this balayage paneling technique. I like mixing to a frosting or icing like consistency for this type of application. I use a Fermar balayage board as well as a chip brush to complete the technique. Slowing down a bit to tell you what I'm doing here. First, you'll notice I'm painting this with a chip brush. When I do balayage paneling, I love to paint with a chip brush. They're super forgiving because of the jagged natural bristles and that works perfect to create the blur I'm trying to achieve at the root. With this technique, I don't load my brush up with lightener. I start with a small amount and build as I'm applying. When you complete a section, you want to ensure that the lightener looks like frosting on a cake. Thick enough that you don't see right through to the hair. This is super important in achieving the brightness that you want. This keeps the hair saturated enough to continue to lighten. Once the lightener dries out, it stops processing, so it's important to layer on the product where you are looking to achieve the brightest results. I'll continue moving up the head in the same manner until I've completed the entire back section. On the sides, I'm working in diagonal partings to achieve a very diffused result with no demarcation line at grow out. Sometimes when I'm painting larger sections, I use a comb um, after I start applying just to pull everything back into position and then I continue to apply the lightener over that area. You'll see me do this a few times during this application. Moving on to the top section, I carefully plan out how I want the color to fall. I heavily saturate around the face for a bolder, blonder statement. The final sections are pulled forward in the direction the client wears her hair. This really allows you to place color and envision how it will fall in the hair when the service is complete. After I've completed the application, I place the client under an orbiting color processor on low heat. Processing will vary depending on your client's desired results. Thoroughly rinse all of the lightener from the hair. Once you have completely rinsed away all of the lightener, move on to Two things are as powerful as love, as love. Poison is getting beautiful. Love, love. I want to take a moment to talk about Bold Unique. They sent over this fabulous shampoo for me to try, and I have to say, I'm super impressed. 
I'm not getting paid to say this, it's just really that good. This is actually what I'm recommending that she uses for maintenance at home. This purple toning shampoo is loaded with tons of purple pigment. It's the strongest purple shampoo that I've found, and I highly recommend this for at-home care. I'll drop a link down in the description if you want to pick up a bottle for yourself. I'm using Amika Hot Mess Texture Gloss to dry her hair. She naturally has fine limp hair that won't do anything. This powerful product can give life to the limpest of textures. I layer it in with Fave 4 Texture Takeover for a killer combo that keeps these waves rocking. Again, if you guys want to pick up any of these products, I'll drop a link down in the description. If you decide to pick any of them up, it does help my channel out, so thank you so much. <laughs> This color is so good. This really mimics the natural highlights that you get from the sun as a kid. Soft brightness in all the right places. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.